And then for me, I was like, wow, there's something here. And so I started oming a few times a day. That was what I wanted to do. And I got more involved with a community of people who, who made that possible. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know people who are like, wow, you, you know, I, there's a, they, they're, they're working in central London and they meet up during their lunch break and they have an ohm. <laughs> you know, I ohm in the, in the morning and uh-huh. it's great. So people, you can go right before work. You can have an ohm at seven in the morning. I, so it's like a morning meditation practice. Totally. Right? I hate having sex in the morning. I love oming in the morning. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to mm-hmm. like feel like, oh, I, if I like, I'm a morning sex person. It's just like, it really is just like. Uh, yoga for your sex life so the same way and it the the one of the things i love about it is it really is like um it's a practice so you do it the same way as when you don't want to go to the gym and you don't so want it right that's, that's something i was going to ask you about it, it, it's like you know there are often times where it's like okay i i, I generally meditate most mornings it's right. hard for two small children but i, I try totally. and so yeah there are many mornings where it's like oh, i really can't bother i really need to get into my email i want to have another half hour exactly. sleep or whatever and there's a kind of discipline to kind of like, right, that, that's what I do. And there's right. a reason why. And that's what I'm, so I'm right. going to do. So I, I'm curious as to how that meets a kind of, I understand it's, it's, it's a sexual practice that's not sex. But it's like sexually engaging when it's like you don't feel turned on. You don't, it's like, how, how does that it's work? It's exactly the same thing. So for right. me, like when I don't want to meditate is when I'm really like, Rachel, you got to meditate. Right. On the days where I'm like, oh, I want nothing more than to sit and meditate. It's like, yeah, it's, it's great. because you're already plugged in. Right? Right? It's great, but it's not a big deal, yeah. right? So I, I, do, I, I, I look at Omi exactly the same mm-hmm. way, which is like, it's something... You, so what it's doing is it's heating up your body, and it's also... It, it's a way you can't hide what you're feeling. You have to feel. So often when I don't want to ohm, it's like someone hurt my feelings, something's happening, and I just don't want to feel it. And I'm mm. like, mm, I'm not in the mood. Or you're like, come on, it's time to ohm. My partner will say, like, it's time to ohm. And I'm like, oh, I hate you. Like, what? Um, <laughs> you know, I'm very, very busy. I have to, you don't understand this. This is a very, very busy thing that I must do, right? Yeah. And then I'll lie down and I'll ohm, and there was something that I didn't want to feel. Right. And so the reason I love it being a daily practice, or even a few times a day if you want it, is that. It, I can't ever like look back and be like, oh, you know, a year ago I shut down to something and I'm just opening it right. back up. It's like, oh, I keep feeling. And it doesn't, you know, some people are like, well, I don't ever want to push myself to be sexual when I don't want to be. Mm-hmm. But what you're doing is you're just saying, I'm going to feel and I'm going to stay open and I'm going to feel whatever is. And so if you're feeling like I hate the world, it can be a really hot, angry ohm. It doesn't really matter what you're feeling as long as you just... The same way with breathing meditation, right? Or yoga or the gym. As long as you do it, it's right. 